with my own insanity and desire to, well, kill kill everything in sight, versus actually trying to help people. Loading screens, loading screens. Everybody loves the loading screens. Gotta love the loading screen. There's nowhere to go. Forces us to sit and wait while he decides what the fuck he wants to do. Well, the answer was nothing. What is this? Do not cough in public. Prevent disease. Careless spitting, sneezing, coughing, spread influenza. Spread spread by mouth is sprayed from nose and throat. Do not cough in public. You know, that's asking people a lot to do, don't you think? This is going to be asking a lot for people to just be like, Hey, yeah, don't ever cough in public again. Hey, I've got these things. I will not let you down, Finally, you've returned, Doctor. Did you find anything of value? I yes, found nurse. stuff you've in You've worked things. your first miracle, Doctor. Now, this patient here needs immediate treatment. Duty calls? When the storm has passed, I'll show you how to mix the remedy yourself with the same basic ingredients. Many thanks, Doctor. When you've Open finished, you ought to report to Dr. Swansea in his office. He's been looking for you. Seemed pressing. Diseases. Diseases decrease the blood quality of a citizen. Use the correct medicine to heal them. Speak with the patient in the room behind Dorothy to check his medical status. Understood. Good evening. But in the circumstances, I'm Good evening. The benefit of Good evening, madam. Can I help you? It's my son who needs you, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. How can I help your son? I'm Beatrice Goswick, mother of Mortimer Goswick. Don't care. Could you check on him, please, Dr. Reed? I already said I was going to get the fuck out of the way. As a physician. I don't give a fuck. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. Good evening. Hey, I'm Dr. Reed. Can I help at all? No. Really? Why are you here, then? I don't want to talk, my... Throat hurts too much. I suppose that but this pain mom. is the reason you're here. Is someone taking care of you? Yes. And no. Could you at least tell me your name, sir? Mortimer. Mortimer Goswick. I'm gonna call you Morty. Do you need any help? I'm afraid I may, sir. I don't mean to be a burden. Shut up, then. You are not a burden, sir. Healing you is my responsibility. And you have my gratitude for that. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Goswick. I don't want to talk, Doctor. How painful is your throat, Mr. Goswick? So painful I'd rather not talk at all, Doctor. I'll let you get some rest then. Good evening, sir. Doctor. Good evening, Doctor. How is my son doing? What can you tell me about yourself, Mrs. Goswick? Not much to say. Just take care of my Mortimer, and I'll cover all the expenses. That's all that matters. Are you really that rich? Most of the patients here are of a more humble origin, if I may say so. Yes, thanks to my husband. May he rest in peace. I can cover any needed medical expenses. Well, that's lovely, I guess. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. Sure 
blood temptation. Remember, citizens' blood will provide you a massive XP boost. Look for citizens for your mem mesmerized level or below and choose wisely. Too careful for you to try to tap me here. I'm gonna just fucking scream like a banshee over there. My blood and soul. They belong to you now. The life running in your veins. This dead flesh needs it. Oh, please spare me, Dark Queen. Spare your obedient slave. What the fuck are y'all even doing over here? What the fuck are y'all doing over here? Both of y'all. Both of you motherfuckers. You bit, bitch explain to what the fuck Good is evening, going on here. I'm Dr. Reed. Explain to what the fuck is going on, what the, the fuck he's doing, what the fuck you're doing to make this motherfucking thing happen. You? Your name has no meaning to me, mortal. Bitch. You're nothing but dust blown by the winds of eternity. I beg your pardon. I will smack the shit out of you right mortal? here, right now. My clemency. Well, tonight maybe I'm inclined to mercy. You'll never forget the night you met Thelma Howcroft. You keep calling me I don't me care mortal. who you are. Why is that? And if I'm mortal, what are you? Well, Dr. Reed, if you must know, I'm a vampire. Oh, you think you're a vampire, miss? Do you require my services, Miss Howcroft? <laughs> Do you think you're a vampire? Your medicine, Dr. You Reed. think you're a vampire? I will uh, smack the, the shit out of you. I need. Who are you really, Miss Howcroft? I mean, apart from being a vampire. Is that not enough for you, puny mortal? What do you require? Hmm? Proof of my powers? I'm curious to know. Yeah, who yeah yes, please. Please it demonstrate to me. You'll be really powerful. Ago, please. Centuries of unholy life can have strange effects on one's minds, you see? I think something's having strange effects on your mind. But I don't believe. And why do you believe you're a vampire? You are having those kind of effects on your mind. I think you were just am. insane. It is what I feel within this hollow shell of flesh. Please, describe to me how you feel. What is it like to be a vampire? I can hear my body crumble from the inside as my flesh cracks and fades. I sense the last pulse of postulant blood within my drying veins. I need new blood. I see. Have you ever heard of Cotard syndrome, Miss Howcroft? Never. It's a mental illness discovered by a French neurologist named Jules Cotard. The affected patients are delusional. They believe that they are putrefying, that they are dead, a, a ghost or a ghoul, or in your case, a vampire. Delusional, you say? Oh, sad and petty mortal. You I can't even begin to understand the concept of immortality. And you think it is I who am delusional. Yes. Yes, I do. I'm assuming you must be a patient here. Am I right, Miss Howard? It's only a cover to hide from my enemies. I can leave What enemies? Want. As a woman, what enemies a do you spirit, have here? fog, or bat. You're going to leave us a fog? Who are You're going to leave us a fog. Who wants to leave us a fog? Them? But I sense their eyes on me from nearby. I, I, I feel them watching me every time I visit the garden near the morgue. Those... Actually might be your enemies. Those are the Skull. I killed a bunch of them. They are not you. You are not a Skull. You, uh, you have a friend. I have a feeling I don't know who your friend is, but he's also a little weird. Get a I got a hint of her. I'll leave you. But I don't know if I can actually do you anything directly speaking with her. Where'd your other friend where'd your weird friend go? Here's your weird friend. Good evening, sir. Can I help you? Unless you're here to fix my face. No. I don't think you can help me. I'm Dr. Reed. I could smack the sass out of you if you really want me to. War injuries, am I right? You guessed right, Doctor. 
German shell took my pretty little mug right off. But they still call me Thomas Elwood. Lovely to meet you. I guess. Where were you stationed, sir? Did you serve for long? I really don't want to talk about all this shit. No offense. I was pushing too much. I served in France myself. I just wanted to know what happened to you. You were an officer, weren't you? Then I doubt we fought the same war, sir. No offense. I take full offense. How close are you to Miss Hawcroft? Are you aware that she thinks she is a vampire? To wait for her next nibble is the best reason to stay here. What? Every time she approaches my bed, she treats me like something tasty. A normal person. Aren't you afraid? She may hurt A you normal if the game goes okay. too far. She's quite harmless, I can assure you. Her head's broken inside, is all. While I'm busted on the outside. But she's still beautiful. Living proof that there's hope for me. So do you let her bite you? You know that's not sanitary. And why not? She's only supping a few drops of me blood. And the pain, it's real for once. She could decide to bite less willing patients. Then it's another good reason for me to stay here, Doctor. You do realize she's mentally disturbed. It's called the Kotar Syndrome. She truly believes she's a vampire. In her madness, she never refers to my scars. And frankly, if I could, I'd join her world. So you are suffering from a harsh depression. Understandable with uh, everything that's happened to your face, but. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. You've discussed on every street corner. Okay, so I can't talk to everybody that sits around. Oh, hey. I remember you. You feeling better? So I had to deal with weird, uh, a vampire lady over there. Wait, Tony. Alright, I'll go fuck myself then. It's here again. Why not to be in so much pain? Oh, I surely definitely need nurses. Okay, those this is his office. Please, Jonathan, come in. I already am, so. Fascinating, is it not? In the last decade, so many mysteries have been brought to light with our microscopes. The human body. Biology's penultimate frontier. The more we explore its boundaries, the less we're able to trace a clear line between life and death. <laughs> The, you, my friend, have a foot in both countries. The view must be vertiginous. It's at least as vertiginous as chatting about vampires with you, I would say. This must be all so new to you. This area of town, the hospital, a brand new life. How stimulating it must be. I wish I could Quiet. share your enthusiasm, Dr. Swansea. But my condition defies scientific categorization. Undead? Unalive? Immortality defies logic. I cannot express my thrill at this serendipitous turn of events. The world's most eminent specialist in blood transfusions, a vampire. One might say a gift from heaven. Thank you for calling it that, I guess. There is really an absurd paradox. poetry to my situation. Physician, heal thyself. Forgive me. I've been an admirer of your work for a long time, and now you are so much more than a brilliant physician. And please, call me Edgar. Sure, sure, buddy. There is no need to apologize, Edgar. You offered me sanctuary when I had none. Very well. I have a task for you, Jonathan. Something that will require all your newfound skills. Please. How do you even know what my skills are? 
The Pembroke only survives through the generosity of our benefactors. Unfortunately, our main donor found herself up. in a bit of a bind. Now, if you could help her out, a spokesman or I could steal or all their money. Is what you need. That's not my calling. And until I come to understand what has happened to me, I require discretion. Discretion is in order, Jonathan. Lady Ashbury has recently received rather indelicate correspondence that, if revealed, would jeopardize her position. And you would like me to eradicate this threat? By the stole, of course not. I would just like you to pay her a visit. Her ladyship is certainly near the tents outside, tending the sick. You can't miss her. Look for someone impossibly delicate. Accepted. That is I'll a great explanation kind of, of what Lady they look Ashby like. I'll look for the I'll look for the walking skeleton. If I rest, do I regain health? I have very little health. I also have a bunch of skills that I might as well actually, like, try. I have a bunch of points that I might as well try. Uh... Absorbing more blood might be helpful. Very expensive. Either. I actually might just go for a couple of these. Maybe a capacity one. If it's there, if I can do this. Oh, I can. Being able to use my abilities more would probably be the most helpful thing I could do. This would probably be the next. I don't. I think I have, I won't have enough. I need six on it. Okay, I'm not too far off from that. Might be the next thing. I might actually get a little bit of defense. Tactical could be good as well. The following night. Y'all didn't do anything. Y'all are. Y'all are some weird. A little weird, though. Feel more we can find out about you guys, though. At some point, I'm gonna have to see what happens if I actually go after a pillar of a community. Find a little bit more stuff to be able to do any of that. I guess this is pretty much just useful as just trying to actually break them down into into things. Should I have my pistol? I can't do it anyway. have a handle part. The hatchet might actually not be a bad pick though. It takes more stamina though. That is more damage. I don't really mind the way the machete's working though. see with these investigations what I can actually do with them. What was it again? Here yeah, now it's collectibles. Inventory. My character. Here it is. I can't 
actually track. Is there a cause of find of death? The uh, cause of death for you guys. Or I could just return this wallet. Maybe I'll see about this wall. So where does this wall have to go? What are these? Oh, these are more hideouts. This is the highest I must have found. Oh this, oh, this must be with the investigation. Okay, so this white thing here is the investigation. Let's see what I can actually do with investigation. Where the stairs are on this side. Open that. That's some materials, it's not bad. Oh, I'll miss. Good evening. Can I learn about you? Good evening, Doctor. I don't think we've been introduced yet. Oh, Pippa, you were one of the, okay, you were one of the people on the uh, I'm Dr. The phone. Jonathan Reed. Dr. Swansea has recently offered me a position. It was a very handy well, run across. It's a euphemism that your help will be appreciated, Doctor. How long have you been a nurse? Well, long enough to see that the epidemic is winning. And no matter how qualified you are, don't tell me you'll change that. You'd be surprised what dedication can achieve, Nurse Hawkins. In medicine, sometimes we're just a test result away from a miracle. <sighs> Sorry, Doctor. I don't want to sound bitter. But I'm just too tired to give a pep talk like Nurse Brannigan. Good to know. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. I have a wall for someone I think was with you, but the, I, I can't give it to you, so... Wait. It's you too, isn't it? You're Milton. You were just talking. Why is everyone... I, I have your wall and can I just give it to one of y'all? I can open that. I can open this. Hey, it looks like it could just be right over here, right? Is it just you? After you are, couldn't Good you give your wife the wall? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm new here. I've already heard about you, Dr. Reed. I'm Milton Hooks. The ambulance driver for this shithole of a hospital. That's quite a blunt introduction, Mr. Hooks. You can call me Milton. I like to speak my mind, Dr. Reed. Perk of the job. Don't judge me, and I won't judge you. I'm not sure yeah, I understand what you're talking about. Well, I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure a gun can't be used as a surgical instrument. You have a keen eye. I learned to shoot during the war, and have carried one ever since. Old habits die hard. No need to explain, Dr. Reed. And if you ever need a better gun, remember, I may have something for you. There you go. I have some good news, Milton. What? The epidemic's over? I retrieved your wallet. With all the money and a certain picture. Well, yeah, Pippa Hawkins is my girl. So what? Is it the difference of skin color that bothers you? Not at all. Uh, it's literally good. the fact to have your wallet. Please, take this money anyway. To remind you to keep your mouth shut. Not everybody is as broad-minded as you, Dr. Reed. Okay, fair point. What's going on between you and Nurse Hawkins? I mean, I could probably guess, tired. but... Tired of all this shit. Tired of all those corpses piling up. Fair. She's as depressed as I am. Also probably fair. During the war... I witnessed a few couples, just like you, come together in difficult circumstances. It can be very damaging. Maybe you're right. But we support each other. And that's all that matters. Yeah, that's a good mindset. What's going on between you oh, and Miss Hawkins? 
I didn't know that would restart that. Tired of all this shit. Tired of all those corpses piling up. She's as depressed as I am. You do we'll realize this actually you could does. both get fired. Hospital staff are not meant to have intimate relationships with one another. Come on, Dr. Reed. Do you know how many rules are broken in this hospital every day just to keep it running? There's nothing wrong with what we're doing. Yeah. He's got, a, he's got a point. I'm sure things are going much worse here. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Dr. Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. I have 66 bucks. I do not have that much bucks. Do you like a hatchet? It, it, it's worth twenty dollars to you. It doesn't really help me much. So I'll just kind of wander around a little bit. That's pretty good, actually. I cannot enter. You were there, man, sitting down Please, here in sir. the dead of night. I need help bad. What's going on? I'm Idiot. blight, sir. Mutant blight. I've lost my mate. Can't find him anywhere. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed from the Pembroke Hospital. Please calm down and give me more details. Oswald and myself were both infantry, sir. We were en route for the hospital, but. Well, we had a disagreement. And Oswald ran off towards the canal. How long have you been searching for him? I, ca I can't go there. Too many rats by the water. Fucking rats. Can't stand them since the war, sir. Can't stand them at all. Don't be ashamed, Mr. Blight. Many soldiers who survived the trenches suffer from musophobia. I'll see what I can do for your friend. Where was your friend the last time you saw him? He went down by the canal. He didn't want to go to the hospital. I think he went to the sewers on purpose. So I couldn't go after him. I have all the information I need for now. If I find anything out about your friend... No, I know based off of the, I everything I've Thank seen, you, read, and heard about the old trench warfare, it's not very surprising to tell that people would have... Please get out of my way, sir. People would actually develop a fear of rats like he has. This is a very rat-infested areas. We don't know where the canals are. We have a problem with my decisions here. There's not that much spots I can really go to. Is there? I see where the canals are. I see where the canals are. I don't see anything with the. Okay, good. That I got rid of that marker that was just there for no no apparent reason. Interesting. Hey, what's this? Oh, it's another one to do knock off. They were really adamant about knock off. Oh, I think it's it.
disapprove of our methods, and you will kindly apologize when you're feeling better. What are you doing? Good evening, Mr. Goswick. How are you? I'm okay. Have you heard rumors about blackmail in this hospital? No. How painful is your throat, Mr. Goswick? So painful I'd rather not talk at all, Doctor. I don't believe you. I'm sure you realize a doctor and his patient have to communicate, sir. Would it help if I gave you some paper and a pen? Not really. I see. Then maybe it's not just your throat that hurts, Mr. Goswick. Perhaps your sore throat is just the consequence of something more hurtful. Yes, maybe. But I don't want to talk or even write about it now. I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me. I don't know what I don't know what you are doing over there, but please cut it out. Good evening, Doctor. How is my son doing? Have you heard rumors of blackmail going on in this hospital? Dr. Reed, are you trying to take advantage of me? Of course not, Mrs. Goswick. I'm just curious. This is a very well, accusatory town to me. You're being very accusative here. So I need more hints. What do you think of your reception here? Any complaints? I have had the uttermost reservations about this hospital since we arrived. But we had no other choice, considering the state of emergency. Is there something in particular that's bothering you? Some of the staff were not especially welcoming. I suspect they're not accustomed to dealing with patients of such social standing. Yes, I'm sure it was all about your arrival at the Pembroke Hospital. What gave you such a bad first impression? The ambulance driver was quite rude, for a start. And that nurse, Miss Hawkins, seems to have quite a dubious attitude. What do you mean? She managed to secure a bed for my son despite the epidemic. It was a relief, but it wasn't cheap. Good evening, sir. She charged you for a bed? Yes, and I paid without question, considering the urgency of the situation. I share your concern, Mrs. Goswick. Be sure that I'll talk to the people involved. I don't expect compensation, Dr. Reed. But I'm aware such behavior would not be tolerated in other hospitals. Well. I guess Goodbye, we'll have Goswick. to do a little investigating towards the others here. I'm alright. Don't waste your time with me. Shut up. This hospital seems to be falling apart. I don't talk shit in a hospital. I'm willing to give you the benefit of the doubt. Is Dorothy? I will not let you down, my boy. And a doctor. I know there's vampire lady. The giant morph disguised. Hey, you. Good evening, Nessie. Something Good evening, about Dr. you. Reed. I know you're very close to Milton Hooks. Yes. Milton Hooks is my man. If you want to report me for that, just feel free, Doctor. I have no intention of reporting you, Nurse Hawkins. But are you aware of the risks? The rules say I won't be allowed to work as a nurse anymore. But here at the Pembroke, we break rules all the time. Is he worth the risk? Hey, I'm no perfect woman, and Milton is not the finest bloke. But we do our best to get by. That's all any of us can hope for nowadays. We always aim up. Oh, we always aim up. I can't really ask any of the other things unless it's buried behind another text wall. How would you describe the situation at the Pembroke Hospital? It's serious. The flu is wreaking havoc amongst the staff and patients. We are running out of everything. Nurse Hawkins, the Spanish flu won't last forever. Even the Black Plague didn't kill everyone. I wish I could believe you. But what if this epidemic was worse? What if in the end, nobody was spared? Mm. 
Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Let's see. So, the investigation. Do I have anything that I do? Yeah, we know he had that. I still have this. Know she says best with people who can pay, and we know there are a couple. There's two other hints about her that we don't know yet. Don't we know this about him? We don't quite know anything else about you yet. Yet. I think we made decent progress in this game tonight. I think I'm going to leave us off right there with this little bit of. We got a little understanding of everybody. We learned a little bit of our powers. We got a little level. We need a few missions here that so we'll pick up next time with uh, with talking to the d delicate person outside. Remember, if you guys miss any of the stream and you want to watch it back at any time, I usually post all the highlights. I'll probably break this up into a few clips for the YouTube channel. Same name as this one. If you guys are interested, I encourage all of you guys to go check that out. You guys have a good night, and be good peoples.